Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This one was requested by one of you guys, and uh, I did write your name down, but <laughs> I've lost the scrap of paper that it was on. Anyway, you know who you are. So in the last video, we took a look at uh, Air Force Delta Storm. Yeah, that was it. The, the names of these games is, is, is pretty confusing. Um, Air Force Delta Storm, which was actually the sequel to Deadly Skies, or Air Force Delta, I believe, depending on where you were in the world, uh, on the Dreamcast. So we played the sequel, and that came out on the PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox, I believe. And then today, we're going to be looking at... Deadly Skies 3, which I didn't know existed. Now, this game actually has three different names, depending on where you are in the world, because, yeah, that's retarded, but okay. Uh, so, this is the third and final game in the series, and it, from, what I, from what it sounds like here, I haven't tried it yet, it sounds very different. It only came out on the PS2 still developed by Konami but this time it is set in a futuristic world where two factions are at war for global domination you play as Lieutenant Ken Thomas uh -huh. a pilot of Delta Squadron an elite unit that fights against enemy forces the game features over a hundred whoa 130 different aircraft each with its own characteristics and abilities you can also upgrade and customize your planes with various weapons and parts Interesting. The game has a story mode that follows the pilot of the conflict, as well as free mission mode that lets you replay any mission you've completed before. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So Deadly Skies 3, which is what it's known as in Europe, is also called Air Force Delta Strike, which I believe is what the commentator mentioned in North America, and Air Force Delta Blue Wing Knights, in Japan. So there you go, the same game has three very kind of different names. The game is the third installment in the Air Force Delta series which started on the Dreamcast in 1999. The game has the largest cast of characters, some of which are based or inspired by real life celebrities such as Audrey Hepburn, Bruce Lee, Clint Eastwood and Elvis Presley. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the game received mixed reviews from critics who praised the variety of planes and customization options, but criticized its graphics, voice acting, and gameplay. Now, that's interesting because when we played the previous game on the original uh, Xbox, yes, it was kind of like visually very bland and very bla uh, basic, but it did the job, you know, it was fine. And I actually thought the gameplay was pretty good. Now, you could say the same thing about the original, to be fair, like Deadly Skies on the Dreamcast. Yeah, it was very much behind the curve gameplay wise and even visually. You know, okay, it had some, you know, higher resolution gameplay and nicer textures than anything the PS1 could spit out, but it was kind of soulless as well. Um, but, you know, it was okay. It was fine. It was a very, very basic cut-down version of, you know, what the PlayStation had with... Uh, air combat and ace combat at the time so i'm going to be looking forward to seeing what this one is like now obviously the second game was a huge step up from um the first i'm curious to see what's going on here are we going to get like different mission structures and all that good stuff uh and you know we're going to be able to pick where we go i don't know let's let's find out shall we so we're going to set the video mode to that and then we're going to start game and we're going to see what we have very curious with this one it's fun when you find um you know about games that you would probably be into that you've never heard of i had no idea there was three deadly skies games man crazy 
So, what do you have for me? Okay, so they've actually licensed a lot of the aircraft here. And 130 of them as well, which is kind of bonkers, to be honest. Very detailed cinematic. Not quite sure about the music. Okay. Kind of nice little show of all the different, uh, or some of the main different aircraft we're going to get throughout this game. Deadly Skies 3, 2004. Let's go. So, let's take a little look at the config and see if, if we go to controller setup. So there we go, novice, expert, and ace. So we're going to go for ace, because that's what we did in the last one. Uh, and I Yes, that's going to do it. Game settings, okay. So we've got a few different options here, but nothing too crazy. There is subtitles, which is nice. It's always nice to see that. Okay. UI is very basic, but you know, does the job. Mode camera, standby. Okay. Emergency! Emergency! Enemy Police heavy bomber formation wires. detected on this craft's course. Okay. Aircraft dispatch immediately. Uh, okay. Intercept. Repeat. Alright, I mean that's... Are you already loaded up, Lieutenant cool, Thomas? I guess. I'd rather stay here. <laughs> you heard. We've been ordered to scramble. The enemy formation has already crossed the air defense perimeter. They are cruising towards area NB-53. Can't anyone else go? I know we're in transit, but we're the only unit in the airspace. Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, what? So, we've got this, like, very realistic kind of looking um, game graphics, and then we have these just silly anime character caricatures. Uh, that, yeah, that's, that's not jarring at all. It doesn't look good. Go after the invading enemy bombers. I... Energy at 12 o'clock. Now analyzing. Um energy charge complete. We're ready. What the hell is that? Roger, your target is NB53. Drop. Being attacked by aliens? High energy blast confirmed. Shockwave to follow. Whoa, just Region NB53 has been destroyed. All units, return fire. Make it quick. <laughs> I'm not sure that our 50s era like aircraft are going to be able to do much against these futuristic aliens. Um, yeah, okay, so, so there's kind of a lot going on straight away. We're playing a pilot who clearly can't be asked to go to work today. And we have an alien invasion, I guess, or at least we're up against some kind of country that is just miles and miles ahead of us technologically, which probably means we're going to have a bad time. Anyway, so that's the your That's the guns. I don't know. You tell me. Just a moment. We can't tell from our tests. What if they have There's a lot the of that team from? We'd be in real trouble. Yeah, I guess we would. 
that would be rather awful. So we're going full tilt on the engines now. So it's kind of cool to get this. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Five of these things? Alright. <laughs> They're being shot down. Like, uh oh. Oops. Right. <laughs> Let these goons! What's going on in this game? It's brilliant. I, I like the. Emperor Sergei? Yeah. Give me a break. Ooh. Like, what is this dialogue? We've got school children flying aircraft. This is this. I was, I wasn't expecting this. Um, I'm enjoying this. I, I, it feels like Deadly Skies for sure, which is good. Um, I'm trying to have commentary here, but I'm, I'm just enjoying the banter with these school children that are flying planes. I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to say here. Do you like the missile kind of a... Uh... Oh, God. Ooh, that's spicy. That was spicy. Okay. Let's see if we can't... Let's see if we can't swing around. I'm not sure how, like, our radar works. I get the feeling like we should be able to see an enemy. There he is. Uh-huh. Now those missile trails are wicked. I'm happy with that. Right, that's Sergey, I guess. Let's see if... Oh, he's, he's gone. I don't know who Wolf is. I guess Wolf's gone. Do we get extra points? If we take out Sergei. Oh, Sergei's. Sergei's taking some heat. Don't make me laugh. Hey, we're the guy who didn't even want to be here. Damn. Roof is drooling this guy's ass. Ooh. I guess Sergei's gone. Why don't you try taking him out? Energy at 8%. Wait, so... So they're having some kind of... argument now? Right, anyway, let's get down. Uh-huh. Not Sergei, though, is it? Right, let's unload on this guy. Yep. Only one of you left. What, counter-attack us with your bomber? I don't think that's going to work, do you? Yep. That's what you get for shooting up civilian 
Civilian buildings, I guess. So, I don't know what our call sign is. Are we like Crow? I'm not sure. There's a lot of talking going on by a lot of characters. Okay, there's a lot of characters talking about stuff, and I don't know who any of them are. Which is curious. I'm sure maybe the manual like explained some of the stuff. Now maybe our pilot Thomas here can go back to sleep. Maybe he should phone in sick to work tomorrow. Six bandits at twelve o'clock. Twelve hundred meters. They're ready to attack. Hurry. Yeah, we don't need to see the replay. I mean, the gameplay is still banging. This is good fun. Um, it's <laughs> just the, the weird Saturday morning cartoon kind of vibe that's going on with it is just absolutely not what I was expecting. So I guess we've got to fly back. Ah, here we go. So if we go to our quarters, what would you like to do? Combat history? Medals? How have I never heard about this game? This game looks actually quite banging, to be honest. Um, okay, so a medal viewer. We have no medals because I guess we're a rookie that would rather be asleep in the pilot seat than actually out doing anything useful, I suppose. Now imagine if next time the Russians come knocking, uh, whoever's stationed to intercept in their typhoons around the UK just say, yeah, can't somebody else do it this time? I can't be bothered. I had a late night on the beer last night, you know? Ah, fuck it. It's not my problem. Right, repair or modify aircraft. Bob. Bob, I hope there's a face cream for that, mate. I don't know what the, what the hell's going on with this guy. <laughs> He's like scratching the back of his head with a wrench. <laughs> Alright, how's it going? Need something? Well, so I guess we've actually got to go in and repair our aircraft. No aircraft needs fixing. Alright, Bob. Hey, how's it going? Need something? Uh, can we modify the aircraft? So we've only got the Tiger 2. Um, what can we do? Ferrite. Okay. So, huh? You want this to be repainted? Boy, you are so particular. Here, special paint of Grandpa Bob. You don't seem to like this, huh? Oh, well. Take good care of it. Um, what? Wait, did he give us the special paint or did he take it away? Uh, okay. So, ferrite. Alright. Uh, yeah, w w so what does that do? You want ferrite coating? You can be less vulnerable to bullets. But, but what? But what? Okay, I don't know what the ferrite coating does, and the game doesn't tell us, which is really questionable. So we're not going to mess with that right now. Need something? Let's just talk to good old Bob. Hey there, flyboy. What can I do for ya? Let me hear what's on your mind. Eh? Don't you recognize me? Ah, oh, come on. I'm Delta's chief mechanic. Bob Taki Yangi Nagi. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Uh, I ought to bop you one with this here wrench. Ah, I guess. I'll let it slide. But in return, check out this plane. We put our hearts and soul into fixing this baby up. Don't jerk it around or bust it up. And no crashing. Well, I mean, I'll try my best. Show any kind of disrespect to this fine piece of machinery and you'll feel my wrench on your hide for sure. Got it? Good. Now, what do you need? Need something? Yeah, Bob's a very strange man. And he seems to have a very deep 
deep connection with his uh, airframes. So we're going to leave Bob alone with his wrench. Now, um, let's go to the shop. Can I help you? Harry? Jesus. You all right, Harry? Fuck me. All right, Bob. Ah, so we can buy aircraft. Let's see what you got. Sorry, but there's no aircraft to sell. Why do I have to buy my own aircraft? I'm just saying. <sighs> sell? Hey, you do have only one aircraft. I cannot buy this one. But well, Bob told me it was a banger. Are you telling me it's a lemon? All right. So sort of special weapons we've got. We have bombs, by the look of things. This is what you call a release type bomb. It's extremely hard to aim, <laughs> but so powerful that you can damage the surroundings as well. But I don't think we need to buy a bomb that's incredibly difficult to aim. Unguided bombs, okay. Uh, let's talk to Harry. Hey buddy, what can I do for you? I'm Harry Garrett, and I'm in procurement. I can get you anything if you've got money. So we're locked in this war with an enemy that's flying around in like UFOs, zapping cities off the map. And we gotta buy our own bombs and missiles? Okay. What do you mean? Why does it cost money? Give me a break. It's only natural. I'm no army bean counter. I'm a civilian. My salary is what I take home from the stuff I sell. We're talking business 101. In return, I've got the best selection in the force. After all, we civilians don't have to worry about military discipline. I do have to be careful not to get caught, though. You should watch yourself, too. Uh, some guys attract you to the ends of the universe for certain parts, you know. Have fun shopping. All right, let's, let's leave Harry and Bob alone. See you later. Yeah, go pedal your bombs to someone else, I guess. Um, right, let's go to the op room. Nice work out there. Thanks. You're welcome, I guess. Would you like to check on the current battle situation? Uh, nah, let's just you and me slide into a comfortable chair and talk, I guess. An operator is also the... Oh, wait. An operator is also the member of a splendid party. Okay. I also do my best. What? What are you talking about? You want to... Hey? Would you like to check on the current battle situation? Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, yeah, I certainly don't want to talk to you again. You're not making any sense, woman. Right this way. Hope she gives briefings better. Here's the latest tactical update. Mountain tension between the EDAF and the OCC erupted after a surprise OCC attack on the city of Lagerdi in sector MB53. The new OCC bomber raised the city. EDAF units suffered heavy casualties. Remaining forces are withdrawing to nearby sectors. Okay. Maybe briefing room? Listen to a missions briefing. Probably a good idea. Who the hell is it? I feel like I'm playing Advance Wars or something. Nice work. Amelia told me about it. You can skip the debriefing. Consider it an apology for sending you out so soon. Yeah, you better. Just file a report and we'll check on your battle results. Okay, Amelia? Yes, ma'am. Show First Lieutenant Valentine around the base, then listen to 
then to her quarters. Thomas, carry the new Leeds bags. What is... Is this like an air hentai game or something? Like, what's going on here? This this game is getting more ridiculous by, <laughs> by the second. <laughs> okay. It's all right, Major. Uh... Miha? Okay, and no, I'm, I'm, I'm so lost with this conversation. It's all right, no need to go through such trouble. I'd rather not bo bother Amelia. Please, call me Lilia now, just accept. Besides, Second Lieutenant Thomas needs to learn the facility anyway. First Lieutenant Valen Valentine, I don't mind, really. Please, just call me Ruth. Okay, Ruth, I really think you ought to learn the bass. As should Ken. Please let me show you around. Well, okay then. Show the way. Here we go. Second Lieutenant Thomas. Follow along, but allow me to show you the first room. Wink. Yeah, okay, I, I'm, I'm definitely seeing why there was no Deadly Skies 3. Um, this kind of feels like a weird Japanese dating app. Or dating game, I should say. This is the briefing room. This is where strategy meetings are held and where you select areas of deployment. Bye then! And I'm guessing this wasn't written by somebody who natively spoke English either. I'm going to say this was probably badly translated. Oh, what's that flight suit, man? Is that... Is that painted on? Okay, Ruth, Ken, shall we go? Very well. Gee, oh, Jesus Christ. What is... Okay. Fan surface, the game. Come on, Ken. I don't think you can walk in what you're wearing, but sure. This is the operation room. Come here to find out about the present state of the war. We've already done this. It's important to review the overall shape of the front line every once in a while. It gives you perspective. Yeah, can I, like, shoot down planes now? You're absolutely right. I'll make a point of dropping by. Great. Now, next up is... Yeah, the two art styles really massively conflict. You've got this hyper-realistic kind of like, um, you know, militaristic kind of look behind that looks pretty cool, really badass. And then you've got like these, like hentai characters up front. Uh, it, yeah, it, it doesn't work. Oopsie, I guess, I, oh no. I don't know what to say about this. I mean, you know, you compare this to like Ace Combat. Mm. Yes, there's nothing you can't buy at this shop here, and Harry is always here to help you. Well, usually here, that is. A shop? I don't know much about it, but I heard he sells airplanes. You can talk to Harry about the details. Airplanes? Yes, Ruth, the, the, the things that we fly to, to shoot down the enemy airplane, airplanes. Just remember the spot so we can move on. <sighs> that suit really should be censored. This is the runway. Oh, please tell me how runway works. Uh. What is it? Amelia, we uh, arrived on this runway. Oh, thank you, Ruth. Thank you. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Sorry, I... Could you show us another spot? Yes, of course. Right this way. This is the hangar. Inquire here about repairs and upgrades. So, would we talk to the maintenance chief about that? Yes, but he's not here now. Also, except for during an emergency dispatch. 
airplanes are stowed here. So come here during a dispatch, since this is where you will be taking off. Ah. Uh -huh. Understood. Where to next? Yes, right this way. This is a meeting room for the pilots. It's also an R&R &R facility, so you can talk to all types of folks here. I see. Yeah, it's kind of my response as well, Ruth, I'll be honest. And last but not least, let's head to Ruth's personal quarter. Oh, good lord. All right, am I going to have to get ready to blur some stuff out, or...? Ruth, these are your private quarters. You can check the performance and military records here. Understood. So we've covered the entire facility. Yes, we have. Oh, and Ken, thank you so much for carrying her bags. Second Lieutenant Thomas, thank you very much. Yeah, the, uh, the artist spent a lot of time on that suit, didn't he? Getting everything just right. Well then, I'll be on my way. <laughs> Fuck it now. It, it certainly did. Yep, all the curves in the right places. Very detailed. Probably, probably locked himself away in a room. All by himself. Second Lieutenant Thomas, thanks for your work. We're done for now. You get some rest. Sure. OCC, wait. Wait, we see the enemy. What the hell is that? Looks like he's just come out of Umbrella's lab. Phew. Welcome back. You look tired, Commander. Ah, yes. Evil McEvil side. Oh, hi. Well, escorting bombers is never easy, nor is it fun. And this time the bombers took heavy damage. You mean they were all shot down? Yes, I heard. You lost nearly all of the new attack planes, didn't you? Yeah. We were met by a, with a real force. One of them in particular was a real pain. He could turn out as good as you. Well, I'm new to this game. Me too. So becoming as good as me is not much. He must have been a cinch for you, squadron commander. Uh, except you have a higher win ratio on the battle simulator, right? In any case, you'll run into him eventually. I'm counting on you, Ace Albert. I mean, he does kind of look like an Albert, to be honest. Give him some shades and he'd almost look like Wesker. I don't deserve to be called an Ace, but I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. There's a lot of, a lot of tension here. You do just that. Oh, and that pilot, he's one, uh, the one in the pale blue plane. Now it's off to file my report and have a drink. Well, you say that, but actually our plane is now grey. Or silver. A pale blue plane. I'll only know if he's a worthy enemy after we've locked horns in the skies. Yep, a lot of tension. <laughs> Alright, now, is there any actual game to play? Because I'm going to be honest, this story is... Kind of... Well, I probably would have enjoyed it as a kid, but... Yeesh. Okay. So, let's see if we can get a mission briefing now. What are you doing? The briefing's about to begin. That's why I'm here. So, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna leave, obviously. Now sit down. Oof. Operation code H4, third element. This one will be easier What the than f you. okay. Good lord. Is that a cigar in his mouth? Okay. 
Just sit back and listen. Can you believe this guy? Amelia, give us our orders. Understood. Our target is the fuel refinery in area OB-15. This base supplies fuel to the enemy's air force, is closest to the front line, and may be behind the current attack. Delta Squadron 3rd Element will be dispatched. Destroy the fuel refinery. That is all. This is going to be a joint attack with elements of the 506th Fighter and 44th Bomber Squads. Keep your eyes open. We don't want any friendly fire out there. Okay. Now then, go get them. That's enemy territory, isn't it? <laughs> I should hope so. I, I kind of hope we're not bombing our own uh, fuel supply facility. That's right. Destroying that base should slow down their advance. I can care less about those infantry pukes down there. I'm not going. Wait. What? Hey? Wait. You, you didn't get to pick and choose, pal. I thought you were in the military. What are you saying, Rundle? Don't pay any attention to him. He always talks like that. Uh, okay. What, he always refuses orders? It's true that the second element chews up ground targets like nobody else. But they're shorthanded right now. You're the only ones available. Will you do it? Well, obviously, if that's our orders, we can't just sit around jerking off all day. In a word, no. Oh, John, fuck off and sit down then. Let the men go. Commander, are you going to let him get away with that? You could ground him or even court-martial him for disobeying orders. Yeah, I'd say so. Lilia. You can't just pick and choose who you're going to fight. There's no room in Delta for a pilot like that. Go yeah, on. if I was in charge, his ass would be out the door, mate. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. All right, third element. I'm counting on you to take out that refinery. Good luck and fight hard. Roger. Okay, so cool sign, Viper 3. So we are Crow. So we get to choose a pilot. So are we choosing the pilot or are we choosing our wingman? So that's pilot select, I guess. And we've only got the Tiger 2. Which is definitely not pale blue. And we're going to be hitting the airbase. Possibly should have brought bombs, uh, but we'll uh, just get out of here. Nobody is here. <sighs> hey, how's it going? Need something? Yeah, I need to take off. You get away from all these weird, crazy people that are on the base. Oh, right, hang on. I'm being stupid, aren't I? So we need to go to hangar. We actually need to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of the way, Bob. Stop trying to sell me dodgy munitions. And then we have to select the mission. Do we? Okay. So you push X to keep going. All right, I'm not a hundred percent sure how this map works. Anyway, mode camera standby. I can see why Ace Combat bodied this series. Completely body bagged it. The target is an enemy oil installation. 
Right. Your mission is to cut off the enemy's supply line. The oil installation is okay. alongside a pipeline. Follow an approach. Oh, we've got a proper map. map and all now. Oh damn, filters on today. Yeah, copy. Do we have an ETA on Beluga? Nomad, request Beluga's position. More than one missile, huh? Alright. So. Formation and secure the airspace. Roger that. Assigning a scratch unit. What is the top brass thinking? Skip it. So two missiles to take out a gun turret. Got ya. Amen to that. Radar signal. Anyway. Incoming enemy units. Be careful. Oh no, I only one to take him out. This is Lily and Viper One. So you're still a fledgling. Better stay out of the way. Why do I have to get stuck with this? There's like way too much chatter going on. You're trying to like um, concentrate on what you're doing, but you're also like trying to listen to all of these characters talk. I mean, yeah, like fuck for that. Everyone, shut up, Jesus. Why are you in my flight path? Out of my way. Right, let's get that done. Oh, there's voice acting. Destruction of enemy vehicle by Viper 3. Confirmed. About what you need to do. This a billionaire for soldiers. You want to get wasted too? What a... What? As a character, what is John as a character? I mean... What is a half-ass no-load? <laughs> Why is John like an angsty teenager? Destruction of enemy vehicle by Viper 3. Confirm. I just... Hey, Viper 1. I don't get it. This is Viper 1, Lily. Keep it trim. Don't let me down. Roger that. We're gonna need... My escort alone isn't enough. Okay, they take one. These take two. Hey, Viper 2. This is Beluga. Get off my channel. Whoa, Grouchy. Removing the interceptor threats, okay? Right, I'm not sure how we can auto select new targets. Looks like you got it under control. Sorry. Yeah, we're definitely under control. Where are you going? If there are any interceptors around, I'm gonna hunt them down. You do that. Okay, I'm not sure how we can select targets. It seems to like automatically lock onto the closest enemy. There may be a, a switch target button. Perhaps. Is John just talking to himself? Like, what's going on here? Rack up some points. Right, well. Yep, so shoulder buttons seem to switch targets. Be ashamed to go home with all of these uh, missiles now. Oof, the controls are a little bit different, that's for sure. Ah, I see. Have another ace, do we? I think they kind of like took all the chatter that came from uh, Ace Combat and made it non-stop and worse. Alright, let's see what we can do with this guy. I think hitting him with so many missiles... Oh, hello. Get ready to die! Get ready to die! Right, I don't want to complete the task. Uh, 
Bring water to an oil fire? Yes. Yes, do that, guys. Alright, I don't know where that guy's gone. Uh, who's Air Force? Yours or mine? I mean, I'm enjoying the gameplay. The gameplay is actually, like, quite solid and quite fun. Feels pretty good. It's just the chatter and the characters are, like, calling them awful is an understatement. I can see where the reviews were going. So, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if I could... Can we lock onto something, like anything, that's in front of me? <sighs> okay. Right, I think I'd probably have to play a little bit more of this and just get used to how it plays. I am thinking that I'm going to enjoy the second game a lot more. But I think maybe the characters get better, man. I don't know. I, I kind of doubt it, though. I'm not going to lie. What's the matter? You afraid to come over here? Who are you talking to Launching now? I'm guessing that one missile whiffed. That one did not. Alright. Let's go take these guys out. Still got 21 missiles left. Okay. Well, we've got a big juicy target right in the, ahead of us. Let's give it all four missiles. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can swing this bass round. Who the hell? It's a hit. Receive my death blow. You let the old man on the blow. Oh, we're almost out of time. Right. All enemy targets have been struck. All Delta units head for home. Good job. I mean, you're welcome, guys. Ah, uh, I don't know about that. this game is interesting. Let's just say that. I mean, I I get. I mean, I like the idea that they um, decided to go and add characters and add a story to this. Um, try and make the battles more alive, but the trouble is the characters are just really bad. I, I, oh, it, it just doesn't fit well at all. And we've been playing for 50 minutes and we've done two missions. Uh, right, I guess... We'll go to the operations room. Nice work out there. Thanks. Would you like to check on the current battle situation? Sure, I guess. Right this way. Here is the latest situation report. Open hostilities began with the... O oh, yeah. Okay, so it kind of shows us how the... Um, like, map is changing. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't really care about any of the text um i think i'm gonna leave this one here guys uh, this isn't 
kind of what I would be looking for in a um, like arcadey space combat uh, air combat game. It just it's I don't know. I this one really took me by surprise. I was expecting. I wasn't really sure what I was expecting to be honest. I was just expecting like more of the second game, but maybe just improved with more vehicles and just you know just more missions, go shoot stuff. But it seems to be some kind of weird anime. Which when you look at the first two games, they they were just Ace Combat clones, which was fine. Um, so I can appreciate them spinning off into their own sort of direction here. And they've tried to, to move this in a different way and make it more cinematic. There is a bizarre mix of art styles that just does not work. And all the characters, they're... They're just angsty children. It just doesn't, to me, gel well at all. Um, but the gameplay is fine. The gameplay is fun. But at the same time, you know, when you're in combat and you've got all these people just talking constantly, kind of like me, it, it's, yeah, it's a bit of a mess, this one. I can see why the series died here. Now, it, like I said, if I had it as a kid, I would have enjoyed it. I would have just played through it. But, yeah, coming back now, I, I can't see myself playing it. I really can't. I think the characters would just end up irritating the shit out of me. And I don't know what this music's doing either. It's just... Alright, I'm out, guys. This game is weird. Thanks for the suggestion. I had no idea that this game existed. And... Now I... I, I see why. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.